Oh, Sky. I think that blue eyeliner is so cool. Or maybe it doesn't look cool on camera. I think from far, makeup always looks better because like our vision <laughs> is not like John Webster, John Webb, John Webb, it's not the John Webb quality. We don't see that far. So from far, my eyeliner looks good. I don't care what you say. I don't care if you see better than me. I think it looks cool. Yeah, if I come close, you see everything about my skin that you shouldn't. This is, I think, gonna be my next victim. Okay, here are the pains. And I don't know, something is so strange about the way how they're sitting. I'm not sure if this is the style. Maybe this is how they're supposed to be. Something about like the, all this space in front that makes me feel uneasy. But maybe it's a vibe. I don't know. It's like, I'm not sure if it's visible, but let me show you. I'm sorry for showing my feet for free, but this is the way how I see them, right? And now let's look. Oh, something is weird about this fabric. Do we all get the same thing? Let me know. I'm not familiar with this stuff. Another thing. Every time I put something in my pocket, it's about to fall off. So I always need to like, oop. So I'm thinking that this is yet another pair of pants where I need to remove like two inches from the waist to make it high-waisted. That goes into to-do list. I want to present my next... <coughs> <coughs> oh my God. I want to present my next victim. I got this one from a thrift store. I had a brief moment of wanting to dress up vintage. So I got this one and I still like it in theory. What I did not quite notice, I, try, I tried this on and I still did not notice outrageously big. It is so big on me. And I spent $25 on a size 12. I'm honestly not sure what size I am, but I don't think I'm 12. Let me show it to you. So I still don't know if it's a vibe or like, should it be this big? Should it not? Like, should I cut the sleeves a little shorter? The only thing uh, that I hate are those. I guess I'm just gonna cut this thing off. Oh, that was like super easy. I need to put it in. <laughs> I need to put it in my bra. This is a lot for a shoulder. It's so much. Should it be this big? Should it be oversized but still a little smaller? My sewing skills are like a novice, novice at best. I like sewn probably like five times in my life, you know? And you probably saw that three of them. But should I take a little bit of a shoulder? And that's a complicated cut. Have you seen how like the flat shoulder looks like? That's a complicated part. I still don't know. Somehow I feel so indecisive about these things. I mean, I'm not wearing it anyway. So for now it's like literally, why did I buy it? I'm gonna just pin it very quickly and we will see how it would look like. This is clear what changed. I pinned some of the things from the back. This seems like it's cutting a little bit, but it's just a little bit in. Is it better that way? Does it seem like it's gathering a little bit? Like it doesn't have enough space. I know what's now. What, what is wrong? I know what's wrong. The middle of the shoulder is now not in the middle of shoulder. Now as I remove the pins and I see where the middle of shoulder is on this side and on this side, they're both on the middle of shoulder. So I don't have any room to remove anything from the back. Where am I gonna remove things? From sides. There's so many stitches on side. <sighs> Do I need to remove? the entire sleeve it's not that difficult by the way it's just there remove the entire sleeve take thing from here and 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 cut i need to cut a shoulder like i will just cut along the line i don't know if i have enough skills for that i'm not that confident in myself pinned it here 
and here on the sides. This guy, you're destructing the creative process. Am I ruining it? Am I gonna ruin it? When I look from far, I think it's cool. I think the way it's pinned right now, it is what I want. I'm gonna tell you my knowledge. And if I'm wrong, I want to be called out on that to never make that mistake again. There is a bone on the shoulder. That's where the seam should be. Like there's some kind of geometry in it. So I'm gonna just one stitch at a time, try it again. If it works, move on to the next stitch. If it doesn't, take an L on it. It's another week. I'm very scared of cutting this thing, but really once. And come on, I bought this thing so long time ago. Actually, I don't remember when, but I think it was minimum March, maybe February. It is time to put it to use. Any kind of DIY project or any kind of sewing project I start, I'm thinking if I destroy it, it's gonna be okay. How badly can I really destroy it? It's okay, it's mine. It is mine. Okay, I'm cutting four centimeters from every side. I'm gonna just make a mark four centimeters away from the original seam. Okay, once I undo the seam, there is no there is no going back. You know, just need to disturb one thread and the process will start. Do I need to do a sleeve? Yes, yes. Okay, it actually doesn't matter. The sleeve is gonna go no matter what. That's fine. I already started. <laughs> I removed both sleeves. Isn't that something about this thing without sleeves? Maybe I don't need them. Without sleeves, it doesn't look that big even. But you know, every time I see people shitting on people with vests, I get personally offended because I love vests. I don't know, now, now I don't know. So they not. So, no, stop it, stop it. I'm gonna put the sleeves back. First of all, that was the original plan. Second, I need something in sleeves. I think that was the whole point of even getting this thing because I want something in sleeves. I don't know, what's up with me? Why I couldn't just commit? I think what this day started off me being very energetic and now I am fried. The reason why I'm being fried is because I'm attending a training program for my work and we have lectures. And I think from the time of my bootcamp, I realized that, you know, how we all have different modes of learning that just work for us and some that don't. It turns out I went through a whole school. I went through five, four or five years of education in the US. And only during my bootcamp, I realized that I actually do not soak any information by listening to a lecture or at least zoom learning is death not only i don't soak any information from there i get exhausted because i am trying like I, i'm trying to soak up as much information as possible and it just does not land at all so i'm fried even i'm trying to take it easy the information is not being only presented with spoken lecture through zoom we have an in-person training we have lecture slides and we have labs i understand this is probably how like education system works that you kind of need to hit as much different modes of how people perceive information better and some of them will hit some of them will not <laughs> and and those lectures they kill me absolutely kill me that's what I'm up to. I'm, I'm just very angry at the entire world. Just nothing goes right. Today, during the lecture, they say, like, the birth rates are declining. <laughs> they say the birth rates are declining. And it took so much willpower from me to just not unmute myself and to say, that's what you get. <laughs> and we will do more of it. <laughs> birth rates are declining. I'm speaking like this as a person with a child, and I feel like in this economy, damn. Oh, don't get me started. Don't get me started. Let's not get me started. Okay, I will try to not get myself started because I can't 
easily mm. and I should not. Okay, I will just leave it at that. Guess what? It's the moment we all been waiting for. I'm scared for no reason as as usual. Oh, why is it quickly? Ah, it's already getting into the disaster. Oh my god. It seems like I ended up finishing the jacket mostly off camera and not actually explaining what I was doing just in case if anyone would find it helpful every jacket is different if you were to use on some odd chance my video as a tutorial it's probably wrong decision but you'd probably find yourself like trying to discover your own strategy on how to tailor something to your liking so through trial and error I figured that in order to open this seam I needed to undo the sleeve and that's okay because sleeve was also giant and I also wanted to shorten the sleeve length I'm not sure if my strategy to shrink it was correct but it works for me so I whip the entire thing out the way how it's closed right now it's probably like for people who know how to sew they would see it and say that this is an abomination it's okay because on the outside I don't think anybody's gonna know because I shrunk this portion, the circumference of the sleeve opening also shrunk. I mean, it's supposed to be obvious, right? Because I am removing some of this thing here, so circumference becomes smaller. But I only discovered when I was trying to, to fit the sleeve back, I realized that I needed to like shrink a sleeve a little bit. And I ended up only removing a little bit of length here, but otherwise I was like kind of following the same curve as the original sleeve had, but only getting a little bit shorter on this end. So this is where I think I made an error, but I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know how to do it correctly. So that was my best guess. And I think for what I got in the result, it's kind of working for me. Let's just put it in an outfit. I'm talking too much. I wouldn't put any accessories right now on makeup because I'm too lazy for this at this point. Isn't that a vibe? Maybe you don't see much difference, but it was just bigger. And now it's like, it was the feeling of it being too big versus it being okay. was probably my most complicated, most thinking, most brain involved sewing project that I have done to date because of the sleeve situation and as far as I know <laughs> making sleeve is like very complicated it's like it's difficult maybe there are some people who would find it easy it was difficult for me thank you for watching see you next time as usual